Let's extend our roads down. Let's extend Broadway down here. So, straight road tool. Now, how far out do you need to come to get kind of ideal spacing? Well, when you use your four-way roads, it's actually 960. I've, uh, I've, is it 960? Oh, no, that's with the trees. I'm not actually sure what it is. It's like 720 or something. Uh, it's, yeah, 720. The, the other way you can gauge it, um, you're going to need a, like a ten-tile gap, but you have to add an extra tile on for the wider roads. Okay, So it's actually one extra tile for this wide road, and then there'll be one extra tile for the other wide road. So, boom. Now when I come out, see, and you can see that, that that spacing is actually correct. So there you go. That's that. Right. Now I'm, I'm kind of toying with the idea of maybe putting in like a second part of the ellipse. It's kind of an interesting idea. Uh, one, two would come out to there. If I did that, let's have a look at this. Let's just kind of... So that would come down to where? One, two, would be there. That would come round to here. Hmm. You know, I'm, I must admit, I'm kind of tempted to do that. I'm kind of tempted to do But if I'm going to do that, then I, I actually need to leave a, a little bit more of a gap if I want um, to get the, the maximum zoning from this. And I think that might be a nice idea. Yeah, I'm going to do that, guys. I'm going to do that. See? The aesthetics... The aesthetics always get in my way. It's telling me to set districts. Yes, we'll do that in a sec. So what I'm going to do, um, remember I came out one, two. I'm going to come out three, four. So, oh, it's so much better with the, with the straight tool. So one, two, three, four to there, right? Then we'll come up to here, we'll do the same thing. And out to there and one, two, three, four. Four, boom. Then we switch to the curve tool. Bring it down here. I uh, think that's right. Is it that or that? I can't tell. Let's switch to up here. You sometimes see a little bit easier. There. Then bring that across. And see, we've got a little gap now in between, which is kind of nice. Boom. So, we'll do that. Now, how the hell are we going to judge it here? Well, the easiest way to do it is pause the game, uh, remove this section and this section, then run this out, uh, take off my curve tool, run it out here. Now, what do I want? One, two, three, four, didn't I? Yeah. And then we switch back to the curve tool, run it down here, uh, to about where? there. That looks about right. Bring it round. Yeah! Looking nice! Now, what the way this is going to end up, the inner circle is going to end up as um, commercial. The outer section is going to end up as offices. Right? So this will be kind of like our main shopping area and then it will be surrounded by offices and then we'll probably have a square around that which might be a mix of offices and, uh, and residential. And then as we go further out it's going to be like some some dense residential, and then down here, will this will all be offices down here? But there might be a little bit of commercial down there, but that's kind of generally the idea. So let's get the game running again. Let's um, just join this road up. Boom. Cool. How's our demands? We need some more uh, industrial. So let's zone in a bit more industrial up here, and I think we'll we'll start zoning this next row. There we go. Cool. We'll come back down here. Right, we, now we can start zoning in some of uh, some of this. And I can up, stop upgrading more of that road. So, and again, I'm just going to do this in, in kind of sections. Start over there and start bringing this down over here. Although, to be honest, because these have all filled in, I could probably just do like a whole of this in one big swathe because we've already got if I switch to the electricity view you see we've already got the electricity extending out here so it shouldn't be a problem but you know we'll see we'll see let's turn that off finish zoning this in boom 
and as soon as we get some bit, you know, it's probably going to be safe to zone in this outer ring as well. Yeah, it's going to fill in pretty quickly anyway, so we're going to do it. Now, when you're zoning, there, there are a few ways to zone. I like using the brush most of the time. Uh, you can also use um, this paint tool, which just fills an area, right? But the reason I don't like using that quite, quite so much is that it's got a limit of how far it'll go, right? And, and if you're zoning in, like, large areas, um, it, even though the, the, the whole area could be filled in in one go, it doesn't. It's got this block thing, which I, I'm not kind of so keen on. What I really do like is the marquee tool, and you can just, like, click and drag an area, and boom, it'll zone the whole thing. That's very cool. Right. Let's um, let's speed this up to two times, and we'll put in one more road section. Uh, we'll upgrade this section over here, I think. Yeah, upgrade tool. Um, now, do I take it up to there? Yeah, I think I do. Right. How are we doing? We're making... Um, just over 1250 a week, which is not too bad. Our population still over a thousand. We've got some more commercial, uh, some more industrial demand. Let's go and fill in a bit more of that. Uh, let's go back to my brush. Just fill in another section over here. Now, what we can do over here is uh, we can put in a district. Let me slow this down. Um, Whoops, there we go. Oh, I'll speed it up. Slow it down, thank you. We're going to put in a district. Now, districts, very, very cool. First of all, select the size of brush you want to use. Most of the time, you're just going to use this large brush. Um, but it's... Um, this is a little bit funny to use at first. You, you will get used to it. When you zone an area uh, in for a district, right... You just like use this brush. Now, if you've gone too far, right, if you come outside the area and hit, press the right mouse key, you can actually trim this back, right, to get it exactly what you want, right? And, and doing it this way, you can kind of get like pretty nice straight lines if you play around with it. <clears throat> uh, if you want to increase the area, right, then as long as you move inside the area, Right, so that it so that it lights up, right? Then you can expand it again, right? So that's there. There you go. That's how that works. Um, very easy once you know how. But um, there you go. Now we're gonna we're gonna change the name of this to um, what are we gonna call it? We're gonna call it because um, this is obviously remember this plot is owned by Esterford. Indiana Esterford. This is going to be his, his paper mills company. So, whoops. Paper mills, Inc. So, Esterford Paper Mills. And this we're going to set to uh, a specialization. Uh, if I go to districts, we're going to set it to a forestry specialization. Right? And if I get rid of this, close this down and I'm just, you can see we're now set to forestry specialization and if we go and take a look you'll see that this is um, all going to change, all these buildings are going to change to forestry type buildings and we'll have tree farms and lumber mills and all kinds of very cool things. How we do for profits? We're up to 1350 a week We've got 31,000 in cash. We're up to 1,233 people, which is pretty darn sweet. Oh, man, I'm loving it. Now, we've had our first building burned down. Okay. Now, again, this is very different from uh, your SimCity experience. Buildings will burn down, but they won't set light to whole streets. Right. So you won't get your, like, your entire city burning down. Um, We've upgraded this. I need to change the zoning. There we go, and there we go. Cool, excellent. I need to let this um, this zone back in. And if you get any buildings that do burn down, you can just demolish them. 
It's it's really no big deal. It's not the big deal that it was. Uh, we've got people complaining about electricity. If I go for my info view, oh, we've got electricity. So, what, oh, oh, see, look, this isn't connected. because <laughs> stuff's upgraded and moved um, to the to the uh, forestry. So let's extend. Oh, now it's extended back. There you go. So again, you've got to be very careful about your uh, your electricity and how it's hooked up. But you can see now we're getting all these tree farms planted. Oh, very very nice. And what you'll get is in areas where you've got the where you've got the natural resource, you'll tend to get the buildings which are are producing that resource. So if it was ore, then it'd be pumps. Uh, if it's forestry, then you'll get the trees. If it's um, if it's an area where you don't have the resource, so like out here, there aren't any trees, uh, you'll you'll be more likely to get buildings like these, which are probably lumber mills. Let's. Uh, I like it. Any view? No. So, yeah, planks for life. An industrial building. This is this is a lumber mill. Here's another one. The lumber mill. That's a bit of a giveaway. And another lumber mill. And an, another lumber mill. And this is hey, what about that? It's a, it's actually this is probably making like wood chips or something like that for fuel. Anyway, it's all awesome source. However you look at it, it's awesome source. We've got a demand for commercial, so uh, we need to add some com more commercial in here, which we're gonna do in this section here, I think. Yeah, we'll just plumb plump a bit more down there cool uh, we've still got demand for a bit more residential but they, they haven't filled this in yet so I'm gonna kind of let them get on with it now people are starting to complain about police right and they're gonna start getting upset about the fact that there's no fire coverage and stuff so we need to put some services in and where are we gonna put our services in well the problem is because we're gonna move our residential I'm not exactly sure where I want to put my stuff in, but you still need those services for your commercial and your office areas and even your industrial areas. Okay, so let's start. Let's start taking a look. So first of all, let's check our garbage situation. Right, garbage we're okay for. It's still keeping up. No worries. Now let's check our health situation. Our health situation is that like we've got no health coverage, so we're going to want to put in a medical clinic, right? Now where are we going to put our medical clinic in? Well, probably down down here somewhere. And I'm thinking that we'll probably put it maybe on this road. Maybe on this road here. Maybe maybe tucked into the corner there. Boom. And you'll see that suddenly all of this goes green with the new coverage and everybody gets happy and everybody stops complaining about that particular issue. Now, we've got some abandoned buildings. People will complain about an issue, and if you don't do anything about it, buildings will go abandoned, right? Now, you've got two choices. You can either kind of ignore that and just, um, the, the, after, after a minimum of, what, oh, there you go, one just replaced. If we watch this building, this will eventually get replaced by a, a, a normal, ordinary building. But it takes at least, I think it's one in-game week or is it two in-game weeks not quite sure but we've got another achievement we've reached a population of 1600 now we've unlocked decorations which is awesome source uh, we've got level two unique buildings which we still need to look at my god it, it goes so fast you know we've unlocked high schools as well which is really peachy uh, oh man you know what I <laughs> don't you know, I can't keep up with all of this. Right, you know what? Let's put in some police because they're com really complaining about the crime now. Um, we've got a medical clinic. I think we'll put the police station next to it. Just there. Boom. See how happy that makes everybody now? Very, very happy. But the coverage does not extend up to our industrial area. Okay. But there's no crime up here. As you can tell by all the blue buildings. Right? And generally, w with all your services, you're looking for blue buildings. Blue, this sky blue color, sky blue, <laughs> um, means everything's good. So, um, sorry, that, I, I said police. That was, um, 
Was that was that police or was that fire? That was police, yeah. Now, fire coverage. Our fire coverage is obviously horrendous. I'm going to put the fire station over here on this side. Now, the fire stations are fairly expensive. They cost 12000 and they cost, um, how much do they cost a week to run? They're like uh, 560 a week to run. The services are not cheap, but as soon as we put that in, boom, we've got coverage over the whole place, and look how quickly it all goes blue. Oh yeah. But over here, we've still got a few buildings which are not blue. Right? Until we get proper fire stations, it's very hard to get like really solid coverage. Right, we've um, we've got some people down here who haven't got water. Whew, man, let's put some more pipes in. So, 440 trick again. Let's run another 440 down here. Just go back to change the 440. Put another row in. Boom, that's them happy. Cool. Let's go up here. Yeah, we're covered up here. That's excellent. Right, let's have a quick run through our info views. Electricity. We're going to start, I think, putting maybe... No, you know what? No, we're going to stick with a wind farm for now. I'm, I'm, I think I might go for an offshore wind farm for this city later on. But for now, we'll just put another one of these babies in. That should keep us going. Let's see how much that increases it by. Not by much. You know what? I'm going to put another one in. I'm going to put another one in. There. Boom. That gives us a little bit of capacity. Oh, man. Once we get these things, these advanced wind turbines, we need a population of 2,600 for that. But we can then put um, these offshore ones on the water out here, which is very cool. By then, we should have bought another map tile. We've still only got two at the moment. Can't buy another one just yet. Right. What next? Um, oh, let's... Zoom back in. There we go. Right, so, electricity, looking okay. Water, still fabulous. Garbage, still okay. But our landfill's up to 16%. Our education is appalling. We need to do something about education. And we need to do something fairly quickly because these buildings up here are going to start complaining that they don't have educated workers. Let's look at a building, okay? These are low-end buildings. Um, in terms of industry. They're level one. They require only uneducated workers. But if we want to level this up, which we will do, um, they'll start wanting more educated workers. And then they'll start complaining that there aren't enough workers and then they'll go abandoned and it'll be bad news. So we need to start educating our people. Now, the way education works, there are three levels of education. Elementary is aimed primarily at kids then high school is aimed primarily at teens and then university is aimed primarily at young adults and adults so we need all three levels and you need to kind of figure out like where the demographics are but at the moment it's all pretty simple because we've only got elementary schools um, if I go to the right tab here we go oh no we've got high schools as well now yeah, I'm gonna have to start thinking about it now I know that I'm going to be moving my residential stuff like out here. It's not going to be in the center. So I'm going to put these guys probably um, sort of on the outskirts. Sort of put one there and put one over this side. Um, maybe on the corner of that road. Wouldn't be a bad plan. Yeah, there we go. Let's put that there. Yeah, I like that. In fact, let's start extending our roads a little bit. Um, let's run this out here. Now, again, you need to be careful. If you run roads out, they will knock pylons down and you have to reconnect them. So, I'm just going to run it out a little bit. Not too far. And then I need to finish upgrading this road up here. <laughs> There's, trust me, there is always something that you should be doing. Right. I'm going to upgrade both of these sections and see this is no longer connected so I'm just going to run this to here just to reconnect that and this should immediately go white and then all of these symbols should disappear and everybody should be happy again lovely now these burned down buildings we can uh, we can demolish 
burned down buildings won't automatically get replaced. Abandoned buildings will. So you are going to have to play whack-a-mole with your uh, with those buildings. But abandoned buildings, they do um, depress the land values in the area where they are. So, like, if you've got a lot of them, then if you want to do something about it, like, just just demolish them and then they'll get immediately replaced. But they get replaced so quickly anyway that you kind of don't really need to worry about it. Oh, man. Right, let's go back. So, running through the info views. Electricity is okay. Water is great. Garbage is okay. Education... Now, this won't instantly turn blue because people have to go to school and become educated. And then you'll see this gradually change over time. We can probably speed this up a little bit. Um, high school. Now, people need to go to elementary school before they go to high school. Um, so they need to graduate from elementary school before they go to high school. So there's kind of no point putting high schools in at this point because we don't have people who can attend. Um, our availability of places, we've got 335 who can go. Our capacity is 450. Have we, oh, actually, you know what? When people move in, right, some people who move in will be eligible. So, yeah, there you go. Shows what I know, doesn't it? Um, but I can't afford to put a high school in at the moment. We're still making about 1250, well, 1300 a week, profits wise. Uh, we're up to 1800 people. We're still getting more people coming in, over 50 a week. Our cash is um, going up, but going up slowly. How much do I need for a high school? Man, 24,000. Well, you know what? Come back next time and we'll put in a high school and we'll start to conti well, continue to expand out and hopefully we'll uh, unlock uh, offices fairly soon and we can start to replan the centre of our town and we'll start to put in some, some of the unique buildings that we haven't seen yet. Oh yeah, so much to look forward to. See you for the next one.